Hello guys, welcome to another episode at IB Electronics World and today we are going to discuss about the 555 timer. The 555 timer microchip is very popular as it is very robust and stable device and you can use to operate very precise monostable, bistable or A-stable circuits and produce some very useful applications such as delays, timers, pulse generation and many other things. In today's tutorial we are going to uh, use the duty cycle control for the 55 timer. Let's try to analyze the circuit. In this microchip the most important the 7 pin, the discharge pin which has an, an open collector so this means it has an NPN transistor which is connected to the ground. The current flows into this direction. In our case we supply with 5 volt and then it goes to the R1 and then it goes through the diode D2. It will not go through that direction to the left side because the uh, NPN transistor is not conducting and in our case it will continue flow through the potentiometer and then through this direction here and goes to the capacitor C5 which is going to start charging. Once it reaches the two-third of the capacitor it will start the current flowing back again this direction through this diode here it won't go through this diode because it's going to be blocked from the D2 and it will go to the DC discharge pin which means it will go to this NPN transistor and it will go to low and it will start discharging the capacitor but what happens when the capacitor is charging when the capacitor is charging we have an output of high and when it starts discharging, it goes low. And it depends on the value of this resistor here, we can control the duty cycle of this microchip. So let's say if we have a 50-50, it should look like this waveform. So almost equal the, the time of the positive, which we are going to call T1, and the time of the negative, which we are going to call this D2. As you can see here, the pin number 3 is the output, the first pin is the ground, and the eighth pin is the VCC, the power supply actually. We have supplied with 5 volts. The number 4 pin is the reset. This is used to reset an, an internal flip-flop. In this microchip it has a flip-flop. If you are not familiar, I will make another video which I'm going to explain what is the flip-flop. The number 5 is just a con control voltage. This pin controls the timing of the 5.5 uh, by overriding the two-thirds of the VCC level. And let's see what we can do on the hardware. So here is the hardware and I have connected on this pin here number three which is the output and oscilloscope and as you can see the duty cycle at the moment is 70-80% by changing the potentiometer you can see that the duty cycle has started to in increase and now we, we have reached the 18.13% uh, percentage of duty cycle. Let's try to be 50%. Yeah, around this point we have 50%. So this time here it's equal to the high with the low, as I explained earlier. But how we can calculate the frequency and the timing as well? So going back to our nodes, by using this formula, we can find the T1, the positive uh, waveform of the square wave here, which is equal to a standard formula 0 0.693 0 .693 multiplied by uh, R1, which is this one, and then multiplied by the RL, which is the, the, the left side 
let's say the high side of the potentiometer and the C5 capacitor because it's going to, to charge the C5 capacitor multiplied by this. So it's going to give us a 28.4 uh, microsecond. And for the T2, when in order to find the time discharge of the T2, which is the negative, uh, is exactly the same formula, but we are using the RR, which is the low side of the potentiometer, and we are going to consider as this value equal to 0 k ohm and this one to 50 kilo ohm. And the total time for this charge, it will be 33.1 uh, microsecond. And the f in order to find the frequency, you need to do 1 over t equal to, uh, to the frequency. So if you do the calculation, if you replace the t with this one, it will give you roughly 30 kilohertz. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode.